All right, folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. We are at the Valheim Map Generator website, and I do have a Valheim Seed video for you today. But unlike other Valheim Seed videos, I will not be in the game, because honestly, at this particular seed, I didn't know where to start off the video, meaning there's a, there's a couple of very unique things in this seed that I want to show you. This seed, by the way, was brought to me by um, one of my subscribers, Miss E. So, Miss E, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. So, before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. So, you can see the seed um, up here. Um, I will put this somewhere in the video, uh, probably in the description or in a pinned comment. So this particular seed does have maypoles. It's got three of them, actually, and they're all pretty close. In addition to that, the bosses are close, etc. So it's a really cool seed in the sense that you, I think you could probably do a speed run here. Um, the issue is, is where do you want to build? Now, I... I did get in and check out the seed. Um, the maypole locations are okay. None of them are right on the water. I think this would be a pretty good seed if you had a, um, like a, for a server. If you guys were doing a quick, quick run maybe, or you just wanted to maybe have a development seed. You know, if you had a group of people, I don't know that this would be great for a solo playthrough, honestly. But let's first check out the maypoles. Okay, so you've got three of them here. This one right here is fairly close. I checked it out. This this is deceptive. It's not that big of uh, a waterway here. And this little um, black forest area isn't that robust either. But you do have, you know, you can get to the ocean pretty quickly there. So that's good to sail. These are both uh, right in the middle. Um, you know, they're obviously in little villages, and you know the, the deal with maypoles. They usually have a little village. There's a couple of boars running around. There's some raspberry bushes. That's all true for these. However, there's three of them. And, oh, by the way, you can, you can cross right here. Okay, you can swim it. So you've got three maypoles right away. Now, the key thing to this particular seed is, is down here, you've got this little area that you can you can shimmy across and get down to this little island here, okay? Because what we're going to see in a minute are all the bosses, okay? So not that that's huge down here, but you've got access to some really good resources in the swamp. But if you notice, you've got an elder here, a motor here, and an elder here. And if we scroll up just a little bit, there's your bone mass, there's your Yagloth. So if I'm looking at this, um, either one, any one of these three maypole builds is going to give you pretty decent access to multiple bosses. And there's another Yagloth down here. Now, it would be great if, if they were even closer, right? If you had more on the main island, okay? You don't. But the, in terms of boss spread outs go, this is actually pretty good. I've looked at a lot of seeds in my time, and this one's pretty solid. Yeah, you're going to have to get on a boat, but that's part of the Valheim experience. But you're not going to have to sail too far, which is awesome. Let's take a look at the trader situation. A little further away, um, not horrible. Um, you don't really have much to the north or to the west, so you're probably going to want to come down here. Although that looks like it might be a little tricky to get into. But if you sail down right into there, or you can come down to this one. Okay. Um, so again, it, it would be great if there was a trader right here, right? Or right up here, but there isn't. But it's not way out of the way. Okay. So you've got pretty much your bosses and your trader within a reasonable distance, I think. I think this is fairly good spread. Um, it's not going to be a super, super fast seed. Not every, all of them are on the same island, uh, but it's close enough. So let's take a look at tombs and crypts. Uh, this is where things get a little bit better. Um, 
you've got plenty on your main starter island. There's a couple around each maypole, right? This is pretty neat down here, this little uh, walkway down into this um, swamp area. You've got a few crypts that you can farm. So the crypt situation's fine. You've got plenty around the elder. This bone mass island is phenomenal. It's stacked, and the one just to the to the west of it is stacked as well. So I think you're going to have plenty of crypts here. Now let's take a look real quickly at the frost caves because that's the mountain version of crypts. You got one on your main island, which is fine. You've got a whole bunch here though. That's a lot actually um, for crypts. That's a real lot. Um, I mean for for the mountain, that's a lot of crypts in one in one area. I know that's a long biome right here but that's still a lot of uh, frost caves in one area so and it's right in between a elder and probably where you want to go for your trader so I think that's a really good location and then you've got Yagloth right down here I think this is probably going to be a solid place to build your um, uh, mountain base and then you can just hit your trader and then hit Yagloth but you know you do you, right? Um, let's quickly take a look at the dragon egg situation. Plenty of dragon eggs by this motor, and that's what you want to see. You want to have at least four or five around here, because remember, you do have to drag them up to the shrine. Um, I think, Max, you can take two if you've got the belt. Um, if you're playing on a modded server, maybe that's different, but on vanilla, I believe the max you can carry is two at a time, so that's good. You've got plenty of dragon eggs here. Should be no problem to get your motor uh, done, which is great. Um, we don't need to see those. So what else do we need to look at here? We looked at Tomes and Crypts. Let's look at the Troll Caves, which I like to use as bases. Um, again, you've got a Troll Cave down here by the Trader, which is great. You clear the Troll Cave. The entrance of the Troll Cave, you can wall it off. You can put a portal in there, and bang, you're right at the Trader, unless you choose to build... Um, maybe something right here because we saw those frost caves but troll caves are great little locations to build bases on so you can uh, I mean portals on so you can just you know get there quickly and you know that you've got them all in the right places okay now maybe it would be nice if there was a little bit more dark forest black forest here so you could get a portal <laughs> up here uh you're gonna have to sail of that bone mass um that might be that that's good though because by the time you get the bone mass you want a little bit of a challenge i mean the the black forest can be a little bit challenging the elder fight can be a pain but it, it's a pain because it takes so long if you if you if you kite it right and you just range them you, you should have no problem Anyways, um, let's take a look at, okay, beehives, we want to know where those are. Plenty on the starter island, okay, you, you get your honey going pretty early, which is great. You're going to need that for your, um, for your drinks later on, and it's a good early food source, so there's that. Where are the useful rooms? We want to see where the piggies are. Not a lot near the maypoles, okay? You've got, this maypole is wedged in between two of them. Um, this one's got one, and this one has zero. Uh, piggies, you're just going to have to, when you get to these villages, you know, the domestic, the pigs that are there, you're going to have to domesticate them. Um, you know, if you want a boar farm. I always, the first, one of the first things I do in game is, is I try to get my boar production going and find some beehives so I can get honey going. So I have very early food, very early, you know, as, as soon as possible. And there's usually raspberry bushes around the maypoles that I build around. So I've got, right away, I've got three, I've got three food sources. They're not the best, but they're good enough. So we got that. Um, let's show some of the Yagloth stuff. So this Yagloth down here is pretty good. Now, you've got plenty of tar pits down here. Tar pits are great if you want to build in the later game um, that cosmetic shingle. I think it does have more of a defensive value. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it does. But there's plenty of tar pits down here by the Yagloth, which is good. Um, not so much on the totems. 
you've got a few here you're gonna you know I mean you're not gonna have to go all over the place to get your totems to spawn Yagloth you are gonna have to come down here which you're probably going to anyways because you've got a trader here um, you may do the elder here you may do it there but you're probably gonna want to use this trader you're probably gonna build a little little base down here um, because remember we had the frost caves this biome had a lot of frost caves and I bet it's got a lot of silver in there too although I haven't confirmed that um, this is enough this is you know you're gonna see enough um, totems to spawn uh, Yagloth now finally this also puts you in a decent position over here to be close to Miss Lands okay because Miss Lands is coming so again you're over here you're probably gonna get this elder or the motor here whatever um, you're gonna you know float up here to get bone mass and then you're gonna be looking for Yagloth and if you went to this trader or this one down here chances are you're gonna get this Yagloth now right over here you've got Miss Lands you've got one here You've got a fairly decent sized one here, but you've got more over here. So the good news is, is the further east you go, the more of the mist lands you're going to run into, which is great because you're going to want to farm that biome when the update happens for the game. Um, my prediction for that is, is it's probably going to be some time. Um, I would say between uh, the U.S. holiday Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's my guess. Uh, but I don't know that um, it could be earlier. It could be later. I don't know but I'm hopeful by the Around Christmas time they get it out because people will be you know a lot of the school vac School kids will be back from vacation It'll give them a nice bump in population um, Valheim has dropped off a lot in population uh, to be to be blunt um, But again, you know, that's neither here nor there. So I think this is going to be a fairly good seed for for um a group playthrough with the three maypoles um you, you can pull off a solo play here if you want usually when i'm doing solo play i want my maypole right by the water um obviously you can go into cheat mode build the maypole anytime you want i believe at the time of making this video you can still create maypoles from your workbench or if you've got the ingredients you can just create them I think they're going to shut those off. They usually do. They've let that go on much longer than anticipated. Um, usually they just do that for the summer. Um, but I could be wrong on that. I don't know. Uh, so, I mean, these maypoles may not even be a factor for you. But one of my viewers, Miss E, uh, suggested I check this, this seed out. I, I'm glad I did. I did get into game and check it out. Um, it, it's it's not bad. I would say it's probably an eight and a half. You know, if one of these maypoles were by the ocean, I would say that it's a nine because of how close the bosses are. Um, it provides a little bit of challenge. It's not too simple, but you should be able to get through this pretty quickly. And you've got decent proximity to the new biome coming out, Mistland. So finally, before I go, what I want to say is is when you're seeing the seeds on my channel. Normally, when they do a major update, like a um, like a Miss Lands, okay, the maps change a little bit. The maypoles can come and go; they can be moved, whatever. What you want to do is, if you find a seed that you really like, you just want to get it started. You you log in with one of your characters, you know, go through the intro, make sure that they get, to, you know, you talk to Hugen at the um, at the spawn, and then you save it. Okay, because that what will happen is is the, that seed in its current iteration will save to your cloud, save to the cloud. Okay, because then when it updates later, that old seed will be there. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's how it works unless they change the mechanics for Miss Lands, but I'm not sure. Anyways, tell me what you think about this seed in the description, in the comments below. Um, we didn't get into game on this one because there's really nowhere special that I wanted to show you. So it's a little bit of a departure from my normal Valheim seed videos. But this is a decent one. I would recommend you check it out. So I will definitely um, continue to make the Valheim seed videos. I'm waiting for Miss Lands to come out, so I'm not investing too heavily into creating a backlog of seeds but 
you know, seed videos, which I used to do. But if you have a seed that you'd like me to check out, please leave it in the comments below and I will definitely check it out. And remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel. I really, really appreciate the support. And I'll talk to you again soon.